go. All right, this is the first video on the updates for the 2017 EPA certification. This is brand new material that's been provided through uh, various organizations. But one of the first things that's changing, there's a number of things changing, but one of the things I'm going to be talking about today are the 2017 leak repair requirements. Now, if you are already certified, you do not need to get recertified uh, as part of the uh, uh, new changes that are coming about. You just need to be made aware of the, the changes as a certified HVAC technician. Uh, the other things that, uh, that affect you a little bit um, are, are the verification. You need to visually inspect to make sure there's no leaks uh, on all the accessories and anywhere there's a, a, a potential chance for a leak. So you just do a quick visual inspection that's got to be conducted. Uh, but the new regulations are different than the old. The old test, so if you're still taking the test up to mid, mid of 2017, uh, you still use the old regulations. But after mid-2017, when they come out with a new test, these regulations are going to be for the new ones, for what's, what's starting to take effect now. Now, we should be practicing the 2017 regulations now, um, so these are the numbers that we should follow. And it's as easy as one, two, three. Now, it used to be that we used to have to do leak repair requirements for comfort cooling, residential equipment, if it leaked more than 15% a year. And then for commercial industrial, it was 35% per year. And that was only for equipment that was 50 pounds or more of refrigerant. Now they've broken it down into one, residential, comfort cooling again. So for residential work, if the leak repair exceeds 10% in a calendar year, you've got to fix the leak. And that's for systems that have greater than 50 pounds of refrigerant in them. Now these are rather large residential systems. Most of the systems that we deal with have anywhere from about 5 pounds all the way up to 50 pounds. 50 is a little much though for the, for the equipment that we're dealing with on 3 ton, 4 ton, 5 ton air conditioning. So the second one is for comfort, comfort, alright, for commercial industrial, commercial, it is also for comfort, could also be used for other instances, but for commercial heating and air conditioning equipment, theirs is 20% leak rate. And then for industrial, this would be process cooling. For industrial, it's 30%. So if you can remember one, two, three, residential, commercial, industrial, that matches up with the percentages. One's 10, two's 20, three is 30. Now for the commercial and the industrial, there's two breakdowns. There's for equipment that has 50, to 500 pounds of refrigerant and then there's the equipment mostly in industrial that has over 500 pounds of refrigerant and what this means is how often you need to do the leak checks okay so if you had something that had uh, over 500 pounds of refrigerant and it was commercial industrial it's got to be inspected once every three months so that's quarterly so you'll have to come out to that system and then we'll have another lecture that shows how to calculate the leak rates all right because you got to calculate it with a little bit of math that'll be another one and then if you have five to fifty pounds then that just needs to be once per calendar year so for these ones that have over 500 pounds you're going to be going to quarterly which most of that equipment's on quarterly maintenance anyway this one here you just need to once a year same thing with residential once a year if it has over 50 pounds. If it doesn't have over 50 pounds, right now as I see it, the way they've written the law, it does not need to be leak fixed. It does not need to be leak repaired. The repair does not have to be done to fix the leak, but should be done so whenever possible, just to preserve the refrigerant. Plus the refrigerant is getting more expensive. 